Good afternoon friends and welcome back to the homestead. So today we're going to go ahead and get started on some canning. I have some chicken stock that I've been simmering for 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead and get that in, into the jars and we're going to can them up. And then I also need to do some nighttime chores. So I'll bring you along with me while we do this this afternoon. All right, I got everything ready to go ahead and can our bone broth. But first let me go ahead and wash up all my jars and get them ready to go into the canner. Friends, while you're washing your jars, you want to make sure that you are using hot soapy water to make sure these are cleaned and properly sterilized before you go ahead and put any of your liquid into these jars. Now that our jars are completely cleaned, we're going to go ahead and start filling them up with our bone broth. Make sure you leave a fourth of an inch of headspace for your jars. Now go ahead and clean the rims of each of these jars with some vinegar that gets everything off. Then go ahead and put on your rings and make sure they are finger tight. Now go ahead and place all of your jars into your canner so that you can get ready to start canning. Now that your canner is filled, go ahead and place your lid on top. Tighten it diagonally with all of those toggles. Make sure they're nice and tight. Now you're going to go ahead and turn on your heat, make sure it's nice and high, and you want it to start venting. Once it vents, go ahead and count 10 minutes, and then we're going to come back and put our weighted gauge on top. Now it's time to go ahead and put that weighted gauge on top. We are going to put it at 10 pounds of pressure, and we are going to let this go. Once it completely comes up to pressure, we're going to let it go for 20 minutes. Well, we are all done with our canning of our chicken broth. So while that is cooling down before I can take it out, I'm gonna go ahead and check on all the animals. Here I've got my 80 little meat birds that are still inside the brooder. They are completely out of food. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed them real quick, get them some fresh water and then close them up for the night. All right, so all the meat birds over there are doing just good. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to the barn. My father-in-law said he went ahead and fed everybody already. So I'm just gonna go collect some eggs and just double check, make sure everything's looking good over here in the barn. And then we're gonna go lock up the big meat birds that are out on pasture. These girls don't like to go in. that's done. Always takes a little while to put them away. They just don't seem to want to go in, which I can't blame them. It's kind of crowded in there, but all right, they're in bed for the night. Let's go ahead and go inside, make dogs food and put them to bed for the night. <laughs> And so for dinner, I scrambled up 30 eggs for the dogs and they will get two scoops of kibble and their 30 eggs and that's what they eat for their dinner. They absolutely enjoy having their eggs. Lots of protein for those grown pups. All 
All right, the pups, their food is all ready to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that down to them. It's already dark outside, so I'm not even gonna bother taking the camera. You won't be able to see a thing. So let me go ahead and feed the pups, and I'll be right back. All right, friends, so thanks for hanging out with me this evening as I got some chicken stock canned up, and we went ahead and took care of the animals during our nighttime chores. Until next time, friends, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well, and have a blessed day.